We have three buildings on this island, two are historic buildings, and this is the one further south on the island of Fulford. It's called St. Mary's, and it has had diminishing use as a congregational church over the years that I have been here. And we began to consider what might be a fresh and imaginative use of this building in this particular part of our community. Very slowly at the time, we began to test the waters. So we had several conversations together and drew in, uh, eventually, a group of people which came to be called the Star of the Sea Development Team to look at what could, uh, what could really happen down there and what could flourish. We are opening up a place a sanctuary for people to, to experience other ways, learn from other ways, uh, not convert to anything necessarily, but be able to absorb some things and continue with a, a sense of, uh, of uh, belonging somehow together, regardless of what our backgrounds and our, our traditions are. A centering prayer, I think, was the first thing that we had here. There was a centering prayer practice on our island. His name was Jacob. Many of us know him in very ancient and sacred writings. On the steeps where greed and ignorance cut down the old forest, an old forest will stand, its rich leaf fall drifting on its roots. We have a, uh, a local teacher and a counselor who is part of the hospice group, who's giving a, a workshop on uh, deepening spirituality as you age. In November we have a rabbi, Rabbi Laura Duhan, coming from Vancouver, who will be giving us a day on Jewish spiritual practice, uh, and a local writer who will be giving a workshop to writers on writing as spiritual practice. I'm expecting to discover a the power of the spirit in the community, in the wider community, um, and the energy that that provides each of us as separate groups to work together co cohesively. When you have a germ of inspiration, uh, you need to follow it, uh, probably without too much of a plan, so that it can unfold in the way that the Spirit would like to see it unfold. Um, to sit back and um, enjoy the ups and downs, um, and maybe even enjoy the stress that it uh, brings to you, because eventually the, the path will reveal itself, and you just follow along and do the very best you can to make something very beautiful.